Umsum was at the park when his friend slipped on a banana peel. The scene looked so silly that Umsum burst out laughing. He laughed harder and harder until suddenly he noticed tears rolling down his cheeks. Surprised, he wondered, why do we cry when we laugh? Determined to find out, Umsum shrank and entered his own head. He reached the place where laughter was controlled. Nerves were firing like bright sparks, sending waves of joy across the brain. As Omsum laughed harder, his chest muscles tightened, pressure rose in his head, and the swollen blood vessels pressed against the tear glands. The tear huh? glands could not hold back anymore. They spilled out tears, even though Omsum wasn't sad at all. Omsum tried to block the tear glands with his hands, hoping to stop the flow. But with a sudden burst, tears spilled out again. Huh? Amsum staggered back. The pressure was simply too powerful. Then Amsum finally realized the truth. Huh? The pressure was actually being built by his own brain. The Ooh. brain was getting overloaded from too much laughter. It sent out mixed signals, the same ones used for crying. Those signals pressed on the tear glands, and tears spilled out even though he was happy. Omsum floated back out. Smiling proudly, Omsum now understood the mystery. Omsum was lying on the grass one night, staring at the starry sky. <laughs> Among the twinkling lights, he remembered hearing about something mysterious called a black hole. It sounded like a hole huh? in space that swallowed everything. He wondered, what exactly is a black hole? Curious <laughs> to find out, with a magical flash, he reached right in front of a black hole. It looked invisible at first, huh? but a glowing disk of gas and dust circled around it, shining brightly as it spun faster and faster. He drifted even nearer and saw the invisible boundary around the black hole. Scientists called this <laughs> the event horizon. Anything that crossed it, light, matter, or even entire stars, could never escape. Suddenly, the pull of gravity tugged at Amsum, drawing him closer. As he struggled, a vision unfolded before his eyes. Far in the past, huh? a massive star burned brightly, then used up all its fuel. With nothing left to hold it up, the star collapsed in on itself. It shrank smaller and smaller until its entire mass was squeezed into an incredibly tiny, heavy point called the Singularity. The collapsed star was what became the black hole in front of him. Then, with a burst of energy, Aumsum pulled himself back into open space, smiling proudly <laughs> as he now knew what a black hole was. Amsum was watching his favorite movie when he felt the urge to pee. But he didn't want to miss the exciting part, so he decided to hold it in. As the pressure grew, he began to wonder, is it bad to hold our urine? His curiosity sparked, and with a blink, Amsum shrank down and entered his own body. He landed inside a balloon-like organ called the bladder. Around him was golden liquid, slowly filling the space. Huh? At first, the bladder walls stretched easily, making room without any trouble. As more urine flowed in from the kidneys, Amsum noticed the bladder walls stretching thinner and wider. The stretch sent tiny signals racing upward toward the brain. Huh? The brain responded by sending messages back to the bladder, warning that it was time to release the waste. Still, Amsum saw that valves called sphincters near the bottom stayed tightly closed. But soon, the bladder stretched too much. The stretching sent stronger and stronger signals to the brain. Amsum noticed something else. In the stored urine, bacteria had begun to appear. If the liquid stayed trapped for too long, the bacteria could multiply, causing painful infections. 
The body was clearly not meant to keep waste locked away for hours and hours. Slipping out of his body, Amsum smiled as he now knew the answer.